Jay McCullough reporting live from Vancouver, and we've got a Costco across the street from our Airbnb. Uh, they had poutine for five ninety nine Canadian. Um, this had glowing reviews, and you see a hefty amount of cheese curd here. Uh, probably could have gotten extra gravy for about thirty cents, uh, but just to give this a go. It is solid and quite filling, and uh, just walk this over. We're, we're literally a, a three minute walk away from Costco, which I never experienced before in my life. That's such a weird feeling, but there is a lot of good food to be had in Vancouver, but there's just something about this. Uh, the food court, I originally missed this because it, it just said French fries and then it had poutine in small letters below. But the rest of the food court, I'd say, was about as depressing as the state of the American food court right now, which we've talked about before. Um, oh, they got the squeak on that cheese curd. That's what you want there. I'm being quiet because it's even though it's almost 9 p.m., it's still pretty bright out. Emma hasn't fallen asleep. She has not adapted to this change. So they have a Polish dog here, um, in addition to the all-beef hot dog. Um, there was no onions to speak of, not just like the American food court. And um, this was $1.50, comes with a soda, and it includes a 25-cent cup fee, which I believe $1.50 U.S. is the standard price. Um, uh, for the hot dog and soda combo. So the fact that it's basically 125 Canadian because they're, they're, they're eating that 25% uh, 25 cent cup key for you, this is actually a even better deal uh, than the American Costco. And uh, I'll just do some ketchup on there as well. We'll see how this, um, Yuri's talked about the, I believe the Polish dog before. Oh. There's an, I can't actually tell if this is the Polish dog the pork Polish dog or the, the beef hot dog. I certainly fine though. It, it does bleed out, but bleed out well well beyond that bun, but just back to the poutine here, and uh, it's 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 again it's a little late. I don't want to stay up late, so we did get Barks root beer. Mm. Just this is gonna keep Cynthia and I very, very full later. Well, we also stopped over at Granville's Island. Wait in line for some of these. This is Lee's Donuts since 1979. One of the Vancouver favorites. And uh, there was there was a lot going on there. Um, they had a lot of stuff. We just got a box of six. Um, so I'm already dug into this uh, the strawberry one you can see right here. Uh, we also got a maple. There's a peanut down there. It's a raspberry jelly. And uh, I actually thought the glaze was, was just fantastic. They called this the honey dipped. And we saw them making this. Um, and this is just... Just so doughy, so good. There's everything you want in a donut. And again, there's this is Lee's is one of many. There's there's a lot of kind of contentious, so many donut options here in Vancouver. Um, but again, just back to the poutine. Uh, really having a great time here so far. Um, the weather's a little weird, and um, the city doesn't take care of its it's a striking economic conditions here, but that's delicious. Um, and last, a shout out to the, um, I'm not going to pronounce this correctly, but the Ninjam Pepakoa. It's an herbal formula, herbal cough syrup. We picked this up at the TNT supermarket, and uh, this is from Hong Kong. Uh, this is a uh, Chinese herbal cough syrup. Uh, we had a little cough, really cleared it up. Uh, and this is actually all herbs, and you can kind of see it's kind of all right there. Um, I really want to turn this into an Amaro. Um, there's a lot going on here, and it's basically a syrup. Um, so if there's no actual, if it's not like engineered chemical medicine, and it's a safe to eat these herbs, then why not make that into a, an Amaro liqueur? Uh, we'll, we'll see what that's about. But um, until then, um, be well, and uh, yeah, that's all we have for you tonight. Bye-bye.